And hello everyone, it's me, Jackie, and today we are doing a pastel lavender eye makeup look. Let's get to it. So first we're going to do the eyes, and I'm priming them with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Any eye primer will do the trick, doesn't matter. Just pat it in until it's fully absorbed. Going in with my base shade, this is a liquid lipstick and it is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics and it is in the color Virginity. And as you can see, it already has that lavender kind of tone, so it's gonna fit the color scheme really well. Now for the star of the show, which is this beautiful shade from the Jawbreaker palette in Gumdrop. And when you're working with a matte shade, you wanna pack on the color first. Once you are done doing that, get a fluffy brush and diffuse it outwards. Now you want to add this color to your under eye area and the inner corner. Going in with our second shade from the Blue Blood palette, this is Untouchable. And we're using that same brush that we were using before. And as you can see, it's a soft baby pink color. We're applying this to the perimeter of the lavender shade, and this is to transition it. And that is it for the shadow. Moving on to mascara, this is Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Now, this is a very doll-eyed baby girl kind of look. Um, we're being pretty generous with the mascara to open up the eyes. We want to do the same thing on the lower lashes. Now for false lashes, I like to use these that are from Elegant Lashes in Duchess Baby. And I'm using the dual lash glue and keep applying them until you feel like they're very comfortable. To go ahead and transition the band to my eye, I went in with the Wet n Wild liquid liner and connected it to the inner corners of my eye. And moving on to face. I'm using the Estee Lauder Maximum Cover Foundation. This foundation is beautiful. It leaves your skin like, like a Barbie doll, honestly. It's really soft, matte, and it looks like you have a filter on your face. It's pretty insane, actually. And here I'm using it as a concealer as well, just doubling it up. But I'm using a brush so I don't disrupt the eye makeup too much. And just blending it out. Going on to the other side of the face with the Beauty Blender as well. And as you can see, I'm working in sections. And the reason for that is because it pretty much sets fairly quickly. And it's best to work in small sections rather than applying it all over your face at once. I don't even feel the need to set this foundation with powder. It just sets by itself very beautifully. Now to add dimension back into the face because it's just one tone, I'm going in with the Lorac Contour Palette and we're going to add that to the cheekbone area, the perimeter of the face. And the trick with getting this to look natural is you wanna go ahead and buff in the shade, believe it or not, to your hairline because that way you won't see a line of demarcation. Also, I find that with this foundation, whatever product you put on top of it, any powder product, um, it just grabs it. And it, I don't know what to say, but it makes it last and hold all day. No need for a face primer whatsoever. It does a job on itself. Adding a little bit to the nose area as well. Now the trick with nose contouring is less is more and you want to use a really soft like motion and a little brush. For blush, I'm using the Milani Luminoso and as I pointed out, we're applying this on the upper part of the cheekbone. So the apples of the cheek a little bit higher near the bottom section of the eye. And this is to give a really youthful kind of glow. Now our second shade, I know it looks crazy, but trust me, it works and it looks so good. This is a NARS Desire blush. It is a bright pink and you wanna 
kind of lightly apply it over the luminoso shade and we're going to apply it to the nose forehead area and chin going in with highlighter this is optional i feel like this look looks beautiful all matte if you want to leave it matte go oh girl i had to fix my nose um it was creasing and it was driving me crazy in this video so thank god i fixed it 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 just looked so odd um, going back to the highlighter, I am using Becca Moonstone Highlighter and applying it on the cheekbones and just like the blush, the nose, forehead, and chin area. Now I'm going in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to continue blending pretty much everything that I applied so that it all meshes really nicely. Now for the lips, I am using Morphe Honey Matte Lipstick. It's a really pretty, nude, brown kind of shade. And for my upper lip, I use a tapping kind of motion just so that it looks soft. Going in with the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is one of my holy grail products. If you have not tried this or own it, you need to get it in your life. It looks beautiful, shiny, juicy, and it doesn't feel sticky at all. And that is it for today's look. Some beautiful, soft, pastel eyes. Hope it was easy for you guys to follow. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, leave the notification on, comment, thumbs up, and until next time guys, bye!